and welcome back so today we'll be looking on one more use case okay you must have encountered this use case in the past or in your organization so this use case is like you uh, you want to trigger an approval email okay uh, reminder emails okay to the approvers that they have not approved certain records this is pretty uh, common use case I have seen in my organization also and whenever we uh, look into this uh, this is a scheduled reminder okay the first thing which clicks in our mind is like scheduled job right whenever it's scheduled scheduled so we think okay scheduled job is the right way to do that so whenever this kind of uh, requirement comes so the first thing what you do you create an event after creation of event you create a notification you uh, make that particular notification on the to trigger on the basis of that particular event and then you simply go to the scheduled job so you simply go to the scheduled job then okay i will just try to create one scheduled job with scheduled job you click new and then you give it as automatically run a script okay so for example if you want to send a reminder notification to the approval approvals at eight o'clock in the morning okay or for example at one o'clock in the let's send it in the morning so eight, eight o'clock in the morning okay so what do you generally do basically i will give it a name as a reminder notification reminder notification let me just make it properly reminder notification we make it a daily then we give it time okay i'm sending it on a eight o'clock on a daily basis and then you write a script what kind of script do you write so you know the approval are getting stored in a table called says approval underscore approval table so i will just go dot list and this is where all the approval records are stored so we want to send the reminder notification on a daily basis okay only to the users who have not approved or rejected the change uh, the approvals okay so i will go with the request as show matching and that's it i want to uh, i want to just send the notification to the users who are in requested it and yeah that's it for now we can say okay so what i what do you generally do you just copy the query you can make it table specific also for example you want to just send the reminder notification on the incident table so you can give the query like that so you can see what you generally do you do variable gr equal to new uh, client record record then you will give your this underscore approve see it's not underscore approval underscore approval then you will go like gr dot and encoded query okay whatever the encoded query will be so for us it's the state equals to requested then you will be like gr dot query i'm just simplifying this script out okay because this is not the purpose of this video okay then you will be doing while gr dot next okay what we have to do we just trigger the gs dot event queue okay so you'll be doing gs dot event queue not gr gs dot event queue okay if you want to see the videos on event queue also i've already created video so you can go and watch it and then we have certain attributes for so it's like he, the first attribute is event name then glide record then param one param two and so on okay so this is how you generally do the scheduled job okay but what if i say you don't have to write any kind of code only you have a flow designer you can use the flow designer to trigger regular emails also okay reminder emails so how you can do that so basically what you can do you can simply i will just change the application i don't want to do it in this application i will go to the global application and what you can simply gen generate do you can simply go to the flow designer i will create a new flow so i use case is like we just want to send a reminder notification to all the approvals so let's try to do the same what we were doing in this case job via flow designer i didn't waste a lot of time on this case job because that's not the purpose of this video for me and it's taking a lot of time for me so let's wait for flow designer to get load i'm pretty fond of flow designer so let's try to get the things done with that one. 
So what we'll do, we'll create a new flow. Okay, we'll give it a name as the same. Remind not notifications. Okay. Always try to go with the no code approach, okay, or low code approach, okay, rather than writing code wherever is possible. You can give the description like send reminder notification to the true world. Okay, that's it. I will keep the application global protection as well as who has initiated will give it system because it's a system generated notification, right? So the flow got created. Okay, now it's getting processed. I don't want to take a tour. Okay, we will add a trigger. Now in trigger, we can give it a like daily, weekly, monthly. You can see the date uh, trigger, right? So we can have daily trigger. We can have if you, have, if you want to trigger the notification once a week, then you can go for weekly. In the similar way, you can go monthly or in a repeated fashion. So for now, I will go with the daily one. Okay, daily at what time? So as we have again in the scheduled job, we'll give it at 8 o'clock. Okay, done. So our trigger is ready. Now what do we do in the actions? Okay. So first of all, we'll get the records. Okay. All the all the records which are in the requested thread for the approval table. So we'll go and we'll find for request queries. what happened so we'll go to the core okay or we can you can where is the core 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 i don't want to go in the service of core okay and here we will first query the record to get all the notification all the records okay so we will do lookup records and lookup records from which table so basically we will be looking up the record from the sub role table so I will just give this approval underscore approval. Okay. Now we will set the maximum limit as thousand. I don't care about that. And we will give the condition. So condition I will give date is requested for now. If you want, if you want to give some additional condition, you can give it to add also. But I will, I will, I will just give this condition for now. Okay. Order, we don't have to give any other thing. Right. And I will just go to the done. Okay. Now we got all the records. Okay. Which are uh, all the approved records which are in the request state. Now what should be the next step? Okay. What action we will do? Now we want to send the notification to each and every for each and every approval record, right? So what we'll do, we'll do for loop because we want to iterate over the records, right? Is it clear? Okay. So we will go for, sorry, on a flow logic, we'll go with the for each, for each on what? So we will go to the approval records, for each on approval records, that's it. And then you can see as soon as you add the for each statement over there, now we get and see now we get an action over here, right? So for each record, what action you have to do? So we will simply go and type we will send a mail. So how you can send a mail? So there is an activity called send email in the similar way if you want to send messages also, SMS also, you can have send SMS also. So we'll go with the send email one. And in the send email, you can simply look at the action as send email, target record, target record, we, we will be like the records. And uh, we can we can take this approval record only, right? So I will just pull this approval record. I don't know. Come on. <laughs> It should come from voyage approved record okay to what to so basically we have to we want to send it to the approval right it's approval only right approval so we'll go to the data picker okay we'll go to voyage approved record and approval no 
approval dot email we have to do so approval record approval and from approval we have to find the email why i did a dot work why did i didn't put uh, take this as an input and this because the above will provide a society and you can send this uh, emails to society right so we need a proper email that's why i took one more dot working over there so this and i will give it so like this is the reminder email okay and we can give please approve or or reject the record the approval record okay you can you can add anything inside this okay um the content based on your requirement so you can have the data below here also you can have void this and if i give what what i can give over here approval for and from approval for we can give number okay so it will be like key whatever number record number you want to approve okay done so this is all you are done with the entire flow for the schedule okay whatever you were doing on the schedule so we can save it out okay if i go and if i see uh where is that approved record so in the requested there are 301 records okay and now if i test this flow out let's see if it did if it does the same i am running the flow designer and it's processing so basically this is pretty easy right rather than writing a code so the testing got also finished okay and if we see what exactly it did so it's completed that's why it has sent the notification you can see it has iterated through 301 record okay and now you can see all the record bodies so you can you can iterate over here so for example here do we have the option to see the status email let's see if if it gives yeah so this is how we can we can um see you can see the html body so please approve the re record approve record for this particular change request in the similar way you can just try it out through second record third record fourth record fifth record and you can see the two is getting changed based on the approval and the target record society is also getting changed okay so in this way you can you can provide your own logic your own script your own email body your own recipients okay but you can simply use the flow design because it's pretty easy to use pretty easy pretty quick okay and uh, this is a low code no code i will not even call it as low code i will call it as no code approach for the scheduled job okay so this was all for today's tutorial the agenda for this tutorial was like how to create a scheduled reminder how we can send a scheduled reminder from the flow designer right so this is all for today's tutorial hope you like it out okay please like follow subscribe to my channel to get the latest updates on my upcoming videos and stay safe stay happy and have a nice day thank you